Hi everyone, I'm going to continue the series of the awesome Dafyomi Yomi 1 Mesechet Kiddushin on page number 19 today. Very interesting. We were talking all about yesterday the, the, the terminology called Yehud. What is Yehud, friends? We know that back in the Talmudic times, many, many years ago, hundreds and thousands of years ago, that it used to be that people would be servants, would be a, uh, sold as servants to different families and everything else for different reasons. It's talked all about in the Talmud in today. So what if it's a Jewish maidservant, so someone's got a daughter and then gives her over to uh, another family to work for various different reasons. One of the goals is, is that this Amma Ivriya, this Jewish maidservant, would potentially get married to either the son of the master or the master himself. So what if they would get married at the end? Uh, she would not be like a regular maidservant after that, that stage in time. She wouldn't have the same status. She, so what's the difference as friends? We know that an Amma Ibriya, someone that is not married and has got a master, she, according to the Talmud and everything else, she would be obligated to work in all the different tasks to the best of her ability. But if she is going to actually get married at the end to the master or to the master's son, Obviously, her status is going to change dramatically. She can't take on now. The master can't give her any specific job that he wanted to originally and where she has to work at this uh, to the best of her abilities. Now she would only be able to take on certain jobs, which is a big difference. So there's a massive change in status if the master or the master's son is going to marry this Jewish maid servant and uh, in the status of the job she does. And one of the goals of my Chavruta was telling me just last week you know, the rich that gets richer and the poor gets poorer. But that's not the case that Talmud is trying to convey here. Because by maidservants or the family of the maidservants, probably chances are they will be not so wealthy. The master will be very wealthy. So by him taking the maidservant also, it's another way of saying that how the rich and poor can actually combine together. There's a better distribution of wealth also. That's just another idea my Chavruta said over, but it's very interesting. When Masachet Kiddushun on Yud Tet, wishing you all a fantastic day here live from Israel, and please watch over the previous videos.